For years, you've been told that stress is terrible for you. Stress rises blood pressure, causes hypertension, arteriosclerosis, damages your gut bacteria, increases your visceral body fat, and dampens your immune system. It shortens your telomeres, making you age faster, and increases chances of heart attack and stroke. And now when you think about it, you are even more stressed about being stressed. And when you realize that you are even more stressed about being stressed, you become even more stressed. It's a vicious downward spiral. Moreover, a solution that people propose for this, just avoid stress. It's terrible. If you do things you care about, you cannot avoid stress. But you're in luck, my friends. I am here to give you tools to master stress and turn it into your new superpower. You will get rid of negative feelings and negative health outcomes associated with stress, and your performance under stress will significantly improve. These are wild claims, I know, but they are derived from the latest experimental science on stress. No speculation, no wishful thinking, just hard data. So let me start by showing you the evidence that with the right stress intervention, you can transform stress into your new superpower. Jeremy Jameson from Harvard with his colleagues tested how the stress intervention translated to the GRE standardized test scores of university students. They found that students in the intervention group scored significantly better. They got a whooping 64 additional points in their GRE math section. In a recent research paper published in Nature, which as you know from Andrew Huberman is an excellent journal, David Yeager and colleagues demonstrated that students from the stress intervention had significantly higher pass rate of their core classes. 63% versus 47%. The intervention also reduced cortisol, stress hormones levels, produced healthier cardiovascular stress responses, and decreased negative self-regard. In another paper published a few months ago, Dr. Elia Kram from Stanford and colleagues tested the stress intervention on work performance of people working in financial and tech sectors. Employees from the tech company improved their work performance in respect to quality, accuracy, efficiency, and quantity of their work. Employees from the financial company increased their work focus and engagement, generated more new ideas and more collaborations. Moreover, employees have improved their health, displaying fewer negative health symptoms and improved well-being by reducing their negative effect. And these have been found in other studies as well. This all sounds impressive, right? And now you're probably curious, what was the stress intervention? It was a two-step process. In step one, participants were provided with an understanding of what stress really is and how cognitions and mindsets impact physiology. In step two, they were given a simple actionable tool. Originally, as step one, participants watched the video for 60 to 120 minutes. But to save you time, I will give you the same core message in just a few minutes. All right, so you've been told numerous times that stress is terrible for your health, well-being, and performance. Well, in recent years, a large number of research published showed stress can enhance your performance and productivity, can increase your brain processing speed, focus your attention, improve your memory, improve your health and vitality, speed up your recovery and enhance your immune system. Moreover, it can facilitate learning and growth, increase your mental toughness, create deeper relationship with people and greater appreciation of life. Sounds awesome, right? But how is this possible? How can stress be both terrible for you and great for you? At its core, stress is just your body's reaction to challenges appearing when you try to reach goals you care about. Your body is simply mobilizing resources to help you overcome an adversity. As such, experience of stress is neither good or bad. However, surprisingly, what you think about stress and how you respond to it does make it good or bad for you. Yes, you heard that right. Your thoughts and mindsets about stress influence whether stress will be beneficial or detrimental for you. Mindsets are powerful, and they have been shown to considerably impact our physiology in double-blind experiments or clinical trials. And they also have fascinating self-fulfilling properties. You can check my other video on mindsets to learn more about it. So wait, all we have to do is to think that stress is good and it will provide all these positive benefits? Yes and no. <laughs> Yes, because in the experiments, participants that learned that stress is good indeed showed positive benefits of stress. However, this was also a no because the effect was short-lasting. With time, participants were naturally exposed to more negative information about stress. So they felt deceived and their mindset shifted from stress is enhancing to stress is debilitating. So there is an obvious problem simply telling people that all stress is good. Unfortunately, almost everybody talking about stress claims that it's either all good or all bad. This is 
is simply not true and there is a better, more effective way to understand it and approach it. And that's why I decided to make this video. First of all, we have to admit that despite the fact that almost always stress can be made good, there are some rare circumstances where stress is severe, chronic and uncontrollable and it might have negative impacts. If you burn your candle on both sides for a long time and you can't get any recover from this, this might be a problem. Ideally, you want to have some recovery, lowered cortisol levels during evenings and nights. However, even in those rare cases where you cannot, if your mindset about stress is positive, if you think that stress is enhancing, not debilitating, you will still have better outcomes or just less negative. So regardless of circumstances, you will always be better off under any stress if you think that it is good for you, that it is simply your body, your physiology trying to help you out. So really, all you have to do is to think about stress mindset in terms of its functions, its usefulness for you. It is your choice to select your mindset about stress. And if you choose stress is enhancing instead of stress is debilitating, you can turn stress into your new superpower. All right, let me interrupt this video to talk about this video sponsor. It is sponsored by nobody. Yes, nobody sponsors small channels. However, if you'd like to see more content like this and support this channel, you can do so in a zero cost way by simply hitting like and subscribe. This will help with my motivation. Hopefully I won't burn out and I will keep producing videos that benefits everyone. There is one more powerful mindset that you really want to adopt to get maximum positive benefits from your new stresses enhancing mindset. It is called a growth mindset and it's critical for all your stressful situations. Why? Simply put, if you don't have growth mindset and have fixed mindset instead, you will see both challenges and stress as dangerous threats. However, once you adopt growth mindset, you will see challenging situations as opportunities and stress as mobilizing, energizing force that helps you successfully meet the demands of a situation. This will increase your performance, achievement, reduce your cortisol levels and push your body into healthy stress responses. Once you're done with this video, do check out my other videos on growth mindset to learn how to successfully adopt it. Now, let's move to your new actionable tool, turning stress into your superpower. Do these three very simple steps every time you get stressed and results will surprise you. One, acknowledge stress. Think of your most common symptoms of stress, like for example, racing heart rate. Now, every time you feel this, pay attention. And if it is stress related, acknowledge this. Being aware of your stress gives you more control over it. Part two, Welcome stress. Every time you feel stress, there is something positive at stake, something that you really care about. Meet that stress with a positive and energizing, bring it on. This will give you more energy, more control, and you will reduce your anxiety. Three, utilize stress. Instead of trying to manage or combat stress, utilize the energy and focus it gives you and meet the demands of the situation. You've got this. That's it, you've got the tool, so use it regularly. Also, for maximum benefits, revisit this video after several weeks. To refresh and strengthen your new stresses enhancing mindset. There is one last important thing to know about stress, so stick around for the next 30 seconds. You might be wondering why I recorded this video with such a strange background. Well, that's because I've been traveling for months and that's the inside of my RV. During that time, we've already visited over 30 states and provinces in the US and Canada. Yesterday, I ran in bad water, Death Valley. This is the hottest place on earth and it is summer, the hottest time of the year. The run was extreme. It was an experience of an ultimate discomfort and I loved it. You can learn to love discomfort and it will massively improve quality of your life. Oh wait, this was supposed to be a stress video. Why am I talking about this? The reason is, even though stress will be good for you, the very experience of stress might still be very uncomfortable. And our default approach is to avoid any discomfort in our lives. However, once you embrace discomfort and stress, you can live your life fully. Do check my video on discomfort to learn more. That's it. Now you know how to turn stress into a force for good in your life. Go practice this consistently, see how that improves your life and how you're turning into a better version of yourself. Thanks so much for watching and see you in my other videos.